In this example, I'm going to show you guys how to actually create cash flows for um, both your purchase of equipment and the sale of equipment for project purposes. So obviously, uh, we're going to assume, well actually it says here, that we're going to sell equipment at the end of year five. So what happens in year zero? Well, our cash flow in year zero is simple. It's just going to be whatever we purchase it for. So that's going to be the $100,000. So we're out. It's a cash outflow, right? So it's, we're out $100,000. Let me just make this uh, dollar signs. So we're out that. So in year zero, here I can even put up here year zero. We have uh, actually negative hundred thousand dollars, and we have year one, we have year two, year three, year four, and year five. So that's cash flow zero. Now it says. Uh, in year five, we're actually going to sell the equipment for $75,000. So I can tell you cash flow five or sale of equipment. Let's move this out. Here, I'll call this also the purchase of equipment. So in year five, we're going to sell our equipment for $75,000. That's the cash inflow. So $75,000. But, however, I'm guessing we're going to have some taxes to worry about because um, what we need to worry about is our capital gains and capital losses. So what do we do for this? Well, uh, we need to figure out our book value first. Our, our equipment, historical cost, right? Historical, uh, if I could spell, cost. Let me just drag this out was a hundred thousand dollars but we have depreciation per year to worry about accumulate I should call this accumulated depreciation because we're gonna have five years of depreciation and now that I can tell you that first off we paid a hundred thousand dollars for this and it's a useful life of ten years so our depreciation per year is gonna be that hundred thousand dollars divided by the ten which is ten thousand dollars per year so I know that so I can actually show you 100 to 3 divided by 10 that's 10,000 per year, right? However, we need to worry about 5 years of depreciation because 5 years has gone by. So, that's going to give us $50,000. So our book value is actually just whatever the historical cost is minus our accumulated depreciation or $50,000. So our book value is $50,000. But we sold the machine for $75,000. So it looks like we might have some sort of gain here. So let's say um, sale of equipment, which is equal to the 75 grand. Book value equals the 50 grand. So our capital gain loss equal to 75 minus 50. So we have a capital gain of $25,000. And that's what we pay taxes on. And it looks like we have a tax rate of 35%. So our total taxes due is equal to that $25,000 times our tax rate, or 8750 So this is actually a cash outflow as well. So I'm going to make this negative just so that everyone can see. So we have to pay. Uh, $8,750 in taxes equals this. Okay. So our impact, our total impact, or our total cash flow in year five, so uh, let's see, cash flow year five is simply equal to the 75000 minus the 8750 Actually, I need to add that. I'm sorry, because I already have it in negative. So our total cash flow in year five is sixty-six thousand two hundred and fifty-five dollars. So in year zero we're out a hundred thousand. In year five we have sixty-six two fifty.